What's up, y'all? Tim Pops, Tim Mint, Timothy E. Coast is here with another great video. This time it's a Marvel Epic Collection video. Just got this in the mail today from my friends at my comic shop. It's the Wolverine Back to Basics, second printing. Volume 2 is John Byrne artwork on the back. Woo! I love it. She's 17 through 30. Jungle Adventure and Scorpio Connection. I first read these in 1990 when I was in Hawaii and I was bored. I went to a local comic shop and bought the whole John Byrne run of Wolverine and read it there. Ooh, look at that John Byrne Wolverine on the inside. Ooh, I love it. I used to have a t-shirt with that on it. The Scorpio Connection. It's a one shot. Most of this stuff is collected in the Wolverine Omnibus Volume 2, but, so I do, which I do also have. So this is a double dip for me. Scorpio Connection with some Howard Chake in artwork. <clears throat> Different. <clears throat> it jumps ahead to the Jungle Adventure. Walt Simonson, my buddy Walt. Love Walt. Met him a few times. He's great. Let's see the cover for the Jungle Adventure. Woo! Walt. Drawing some good. He loves dinosaurs. I just want to see the cover for the Jungle Adventure. And who wrote that? I read it years ago. There's, uh, what's his face? The Aborigine guy. Gateway, right? The Jungle Adventure. Oh, no, Walt wrote it. Mike Magnolia drew it, right? Wow. Ah. Okay, well, it's very similar to uh, Walt's artwork. But not... All right. Yeah, I can. I see it now. Tree Hellboy. <clears throat> right? But Walter Simonson wrote that. Ah, and then he jumps into the Wolverine series, number 17, by John Byrne. Look at this. Back to Basics, which is the premise of this trade paperback, the epic collection. Look at John Byrne drawing Daredevil right there. Wolvie gets tangled in some stuff. He gets his costume back after not having it for 16 issues. Look, that's an awesome cover. I love that cover. Who's inking him here? Who's inking John Byrne here? Bike Smasher. Woo! Got all coming in. Love it. Love it. Let's see. Klaus Johnson, who did Daredevil, Dare Dare was Frank Miller's the inker. Mm. Finishing artist. John Byrne just drew the breakdown. He just like sketched it and then handed it off. So there's Rough House. Woo! That cover. Great cover. Oh, the X-Men make a cameo. Dazzler, Havoc, Colossus, Psylocke. Wolverine. I always felt like his series could have done better, though, back down in the day, though. But you take what you can get. He was so popular, they had to give him his own book, right? Wolvie. Okay, a little spore guy. Woo! Don't get touched by the spore guy, Wolvie. Eeks! Yikes. Oh, look at that cover. Woo! That's the back cover. Oh, okay. And then after John Burns' run, you had some filling issues. Let's see. Jim Lee who did the covers for those. Look at that Jim Lee Wolverine cover. Jim Lee is a powerhouse. He really can't draw. Peter David writing this story. Were they all just like one shots or? No, yeah, yeah, they were one shots. Okay. Just jumping around in Wolvie's life history. His history. Oh, you get some other stuff in the back. There's the. I had that T-shirt for a long time. There's the Jim Lee cover. Woo. I have the Omnibus Volume 2 that has the John Byrne cover. You can either get uh, Jim Lee or John Byrne. I picked the John Byrne, but this one has the Jim Lee. It's okay to double dip. It's a different format. It's, you know, more accessible on the shelf to read. So, but it's pretty good. Oh, I love Wolvie. Ooh, I like that shot. So if you're thinking of picking it up, order it from my comic shop because they package it. it came in two days. 
it's all bagged up and packaged nice and you won't be disappointed. So that was Wolverine Back to Basics Marvel Epic Collection Overview. Thanks for watching, gang. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'm your Epic Collection guy. Join your nerdies. See you in the next one. Bye.